Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Schmidt, one of the pastors at Celebrate Church in Knoxville, Iowa. And I want to welcome you to our Celebrators podcast. Today's podcast is part of our Let's Go series, where you'll get to know people who have taken the initiative to share God's love in their communities. At Celebrate Church, our mission is to gather to go with the presence of Jesus. And the people you're about to hear from are doing just that. We hope you find their story encouraging. Let's go. Welcome, and we cannot wait to start this podcast. At Celebrate, we want to be people that gather to go with with the presence of Jesus. And today, we are going to look specifically into the lives of the Motzes. They brought us here to this moment with some great questions, some great desires. So Mike and Jackie Motz, thank you so much for being with us today for our very first podcast. Let's go. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so we want to hear what made you want people to know about what others are doing within the community? Because our church family, we do a lot here at Celebrate, but there are so many of you celebrators that are doing beautiful things in the community. What made you want people to know about that? Well, I feel like the idea came from Michael and um, we were just kind of sitting around one evening talking about just things that we were doing ourselves, but also we had been hearing among other celebrators of um, just things going on that were amazing and we were so excited for them and wanted to support them and wanted other people to know about um, how they're serving God and listening to God's calling for their lives. So he kind of brought it up and then we just started brainstorming and and then um, set up a meeting um, with Pastor Andrew to start with. So yeah, you take it from here. Yeah, Pastor and Andrew and I, because I was an elder, had periodic meetings just checking in on each other and kind of seeing what you know, how, how things were going for one another. And, and, in one of those meetings, I just brought it up that, that we had kind of felt like there was, there was a need for the church to be, um, supporting and promoting things that, that the people from our church are doing to try to, to reach outside the church walls. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, just by word of mouth, we were finding out about all these different things that people are doing, you know, different Bible study Mm -hmm. groups or, or uh, ministries that people were doing, but we'd, there was never anything really announced about them, or right, right. there was no opportunities really to pray over those yeah. things that were happening, uh, because we just didn't, I, I, I don't know, I just felt like we weren't communicating that, that about the great things that were going on outside the church walls. Right. And uh, so that's that, that was part of the conversation that Andrew and I had, um, and also supporting those ministries. Mm-hmm. If there was a way that we as a church could come alongside a, a young couple that's trying to start up a uh, some kind of an outreach in their community and they don't have the resources to, right. be able to, to pull it off or mm-hmm. they would just want to have some people to, to help out with an event or something. I thought, you know, there's a lot of people at our church that would love to, to either donate, volunteer, step in and say, you know what, I'll, I'll come and serve for an hour or two at this thing you want to put on. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I I just love that because I think when we think of the church, oftentimes we can think, how can we do everything together? But the truth is the Lord's planting specific seeds in each one of us that he wants us to help plant and then water and then watch grow. Mm -hmm. And so it's been really sweet as we have been planning for this podcast, for the Let's Go series, to hear and to just think about all the people that are doing very significant and very specific things that the Mm -hmm. Lord has told them to do. And so you both have very specific things that the Lord invited both of you into. So I said earlier, you are the Motzes. So Mike and Jackie, (laughs) can you introduce yourselves maybe a little bit more and then share what are the things that God has invited you both into specifically? Okay. Well, I'm Michael Motz and uh, was raised in Knoxville um, in the church. Uh, we went to a small church on the edge of Knoxville, Christ church, and it was a great church family, very small. Um, Jackie and I met at college yep. and, uh, decided to move back to, to our home, to my home community. It's not her home community, <laughs> but it is now. <laughs> it is, it is now. Um, worked in the community for a lot of years as an educator mm-hmm. and, uh, then now I'm farming and I have been for 11 years. Uh, so the way God has had me serve over the years has changed a lot. I've worn a lot of different hats mm-hmm. and, uh, currently, um, 
I, I think one of the major hats that I'm wearing is grandpa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, um, you know, I was, I was on the elder board, but, but as I stepped off of the elder board, when that time expired, I, I kind of felt like I needed something hmm. to, to connect me yeah. uh, in a different way. And so I was praying about it and I, right. I tried to start up a small group, uh, at my, at my shop, hmm. I, um, invited some men to it. I've got a good core group. It hasn't grown a lot since yep. we started it up, but, but we've got a good core group of men that are supporting one another. And, uh, our, our goal is to hopefully try to start pulling in some men that don't have a church background or that mm -hmm. are connected to a church mm -hmm. anywhere. Yep. Uh, feel like maybe they'd feel, feel comfortable coming to the shop. Right. So. We were just traveling through Wisconsin and one of the places on the highway we passed was a church called the Cowboy Church. Mm -hmm. And I loved that because mm -hmm. it just made my husband, Mike, and I reflect on like, oh yeah, like it was in a barn. Like it literally was a red barn and how that invited different people than a celebrate would mm -hmm. and that they're both really beautiful and really significant for the kingdom. And so mm -hmm. I love that, Mike. Mm -hmm. Do you go by Mike or Michael? Both. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> Cause when you introduce yourself by Michael, I was like, Ooh, I missed that up. So, okay. Sorry. Family typically calls me Michael and okay. out in the community, I'm mostly Mike. You're so. mostly Mike. Okay. Awesome. What about you, Jackie? Yep. Um, Michael and I have been married for 27 years and, um, yeah, we moved here once we graduated from college, and we have three amazing kids and um, one foster son, and um, we've got three grandkids here and more coming, and so we're excited about that. Um, I own my own custom draperies business, so I work from my home and sell blinds and curtains and do upholstery work. And, wow. Um, and I've been doing that for almost 19 years now. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, in the past, I've worked here at Celebrate. I've been a uh, um, youth ministry leader and um, also on the ministering elder. Um, and just we've called Celebrate our home for, I don't know, 20 years. Wow. Not quite. Not quite 20 years. Yeah. So we've been here quite a while and, yeah. and, and love it. Um, raised our kids here and it's been a wonderful church for us. So mm -hmm. um, right now, um, I feel like my calling, um, kind of like Michael his, his, was men. Well, about six years ago, I had a calling for women as well. Um, Aubrey had given a, a sermon about about serving and, and what we feel passionate about and, and things like that. And so um, I had a, a, a vision from God or I, th I heard God yeah. say, um, reach out to women hmm. and um, drug my feet on that yeah. <laughs> for as long as he would allow me. And then finally went in and had a conversation with Aubrey and she introduced me to something called If Gathering. Cool. And so um, I have been meeting with the, a, a core group of women, uh, six women, I would say for a little over six years now. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been a huge blessing to me and to each other. Mm -hmm. um, and we really support each other and love each other well, the way that God intended us to, I believe. So um, it's been, it's been a wonderful journey. That is so cool. Yes. I, um, there's a book by Lisa Brevere called Nurture, and it is about women. And at the end of the book, it talks about how the relationship between women is the number one thing the enemy attacks because if it is beautifully in how it's supposed to be, it represents the relationship of the Trinity so beautifully because of all yes. the different, all the different details of womanhood. And I, that has always stuck with me. So I love yes. that. Yeah. The Lord poured that into your heart Yes, to do something with. Yep. That's awesome. Well, I can say as her husband that I've, yeah. I've noticed a difference in our marriage. Okay. Having good women supporting her. Wow. It's, it's helped us too. Yeah. We've communicated much better and hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. We've just seen a significant growth in our marriage because of strong, help, healthy women friendships. That's awesome. Yes. That's such a yep. testimony. Mm -hmm. Other than guy get kicked out of the house. <laughs> right, right, right. Once a month, <laughs> once a month I don't once feed him and he can't come into the house until 930 at night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, other than that, things are great. No, no, but that's awesome. And that you, there's testimony to that. Yes. Like there is active fruit happening. Wow. That's beautiful. Yes. That yep. is so cool. Why do you both have such big hearts for the opportunity and the invitation the Lord gave you? So for the men in your shop and then the women that you meet with for if, why do you have such big hearts for them? 
because of the relationships that I've formed with yeah. with them. Um, when something is going good in our lives, we're able to share it with each other. When mm. something is going wrong or bad in our lives, they're the first ones that we reach out to. Mm. Um, I mean, other than my husband, don't get me wrong. But like, if I'm, if I'm asking for prayer, Michael automatically knows and he's praying for me constantly. But, mm -hmm. uh, this is the group of women that I, that I say, Hey, we need all hands on deck. Wow. Or, um, and, and they do the same and it's the relationship that we've built. We trust each other. We know each other. Um, we know that God is in support of our, our, our friendship and relationship wow. and he's number one in mm -hmm. priority and, and that's, and that's who we turn to first. Wow. So that's beautiful. Yes. That is yep. beautiful and encouraging. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. I think for me, there's a, there's even a bigger picture piece to it that, um, I feel like our culture has neglected men hmm. significantly yep. in the last 15 to 20 to 25 years. Mm -hmm. And, and men have almost gotten to a point where they've just become passive and, hmm. and, and that's not what God called us to yeah. be. And so I guess I just wanted to, I, I felt like maybe I could help with that, mm -hmm. even if mm -hmm. it's with a, just a few men helping them see them through God's eyes and yeah. see themselves, yep. how God sees them. Um, you know, we're not called to be quiet, submissive, passive right. people. Uh, yeah called into leadership within our families and right mm -hmm. and uh we we should embrace it yeah mm -hmm. my husband and i would often reflect on in church services that if you would look at a pew and if the kids weren't singing if you would look at the dad and he wasn't singing they were actually following the direct example of the father mm -hmm. even if the mom was fully engaged yeah. and so that power and the significant place that a father figure holds within a church community and within their own family is so significant. Mm -hmm. So I love Absolutely. like the desire in your heart and how the Lord's invitation for you was to really push into that and mm -hmm. activate that in men. Cause right. it is nowadays, I think for all of us, it's so much easier to be passive than yep. to be mm -hmm. activated yep. and do something with it. Wow. Okay. Well, in a world with so many opportunities to serve, why this specific one? I mean, both of you are obviously more than capable, more than able to do all the things. You've done a lot of things here at Celebrate. Why do you think in this moment it's these opportunities? So um, first, we're kind of talking about two different things here yes. today on the podcast. Yes. So first, I think it's so significant um, to talk about the Go Ministries yes. at Celebrate yeah. because um, there are some people in our that are sitting in our pews every Sunday or, or even if it's just one Sunday a month or what, that are doing some significant things um, within our communities to, to share the gospel That's right. um, with other people. They are listening to God's calling wow. and they are going, going out and they are um, just, right. just serving. Yes. And so, um, so we really want to make people aware of number one, what other people are doing, Yes. but also encourage people that you have that power yes, as well. Yes, right. You don't need the permission of Celebrate Church yep. to to do what God's calling you That's to do. Right. We absolutely want to come alongside you yes. as a church. We absolutely want to support you. We want to pray for you if there's needs. That's what we will, that's what we should be doing yeah. as a church. But um, we just want to raise awareness. I think yes. just that there's some cool stuff going on and, yeah. and God is moving in our community. And if you can't see that, maybe we can open each other's eyes to yeah. what it is that, that we're doing and encourage you to, to do what God's calling you to do as well. Yes. Agreed. Yes. Thank so, you for bringing us back to that because that is true. There's so many things that the Lord's doing that doesn't need, um, celebrate stamp of approval. I, yes. I said the um parks, I was like, should I say that? But it is true. Like if God's telling you to do something, we shouldn't be the hindrance of that. We should be right. the one breathing life into that. So right. yeah, I totally agree with that. Yes. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. The, the other, because there's there's actually a couple of things that occurred to me while she was talking that um, bringing awareness to what other people are doing does a, a, a lot of things. One, right. it, it encourages them mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. continue to do it. That's right. It yes. lets Come them on. know that it's like an attaboy, a pat, yeah, pat on the back. You that's know, right. Saying, hey, we're, we love that you're doing this yeah. and we'd love to, We'd love to brag it up a little bit, right? But it also uh, gives people examples. Mm -hmm. So 
a lot of people are just kind of, okay, I don't know how God can use me. Right. But if they see that I just open up my shop one night yes. a month yep. and invite some guys over and we sit and talk about something related to God, well, anybody can do that. Right, right. Um, mm-hmm. Or if, you know, like Jackie's If Gathering, that that is a, a setup curriculum yes. basically right. that, that she just gets online and finds what's this month's topic and what are yeah. the questions to discuss. So and she doesn't have to come up with any of that. Yes. Yep. And so anybody can lead that. Right. It's mm-hmm. just a matter of having a space to open up and inviting people in. Yeah. Um, you know, and other people that are, you know, doing things for their neighbors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, serving God looks a lot of different ways. It does. There's and, not a specific cookie cutter way to do that. Right. Yeah. And and coming to church is just how we get fed mm-hmm. so that we're prepared to go do those things. Yeah. Right. And so I think a lot of times we confuse that. Yes. And so um, I think it's important to not just stop at the, you know, you're here, here's the message. Yep. Have a good week. Right. You know, mm-hmm. It's, I, I love this new minister, this, this, what we're going to do this summer is just yeah. going to focus on, okay, you're here. Right. You've, you've heard the message. Yeah. You, you know the good news. Now let's share that good news. Wow. In some way. For sure. Mm-hmm. And for yes. everybody, it's going to look different. Yes. Because mm-hmm. there is something significant about the power of testimony. So whether mm-hmm. we're claiming it for ourselves and saying, okay, I can do if gathering, mm-hmm. or we stop ignoring that little voice that's been like, hey, why don't you go bring a meal to your neighbor? You know, because right. that is just as right. significant. Right. Um, but I think sometimes when we think of, doing a ministry or doing something for the Lord, we, our mind or actually possibly the enemy tries to make it be like, well, that's not big enough. So don't do anything with that. Right. And the Lord's like, no, actually I asked you to be obedient in that and how beautiful that can be yes. and how significant that can be for our community. Yeah. I love Absolutely. that. That's yes. awesome. Okay. Last question. How can we as celebrators support you? And the things that the Lord's doing with If Gathering, within your shop with men, within Let's Go Ministries, whatever whatever first came to your mind when I said that, <laughs> tell us. We want to hear. Um, uh, you know, it's an <laughs> interesting question because I guess I've always looked at it more from a perspective of how can, how can we as celebrate be supporting other people? I've never mm. thought about how can celebrate <laughs> support what I'm trying to do. Um, but yeah, uh, prayer. Yeah. Definitely prayer. Um, knowing that I have this group that meets, if mm-hmm. you know somebody wow. that just doesn't like to go to church, yep. a, a guy that just you think would be well served to meet with a group of Christian men and mm-hmm. talk about topics of it that have eternal invol- you know, significance, um, pass on their name. Yeah, you know, get my name and number and and pass on the information to them. You bring know? them with. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah bring so, them with. But yeah, that's that would be awesome. Um. But yeah, probably prayer is the number one. Yep. That That's awesome. God would continue to open doors and allow us to do what he wants us to do with it. Yeah. I love it because I feel like in the midst of this conversation, you've said, you know, we haven't grown if new people. So I think the Lord's just depositing specific, like there's a desire for growth and mm-hmm. for new people. And I'm just excited to see what the mm-hmm. Lord's going to do with that. So yes, as a church family, we can pray for you. That would be great. Thank you. What about you, Jackie? Um, I would say the same thing. Um, If gathering is designed for six women to sit around a table um, and have a meal together once a month and talk about four specific questions. Um, and, And so it's not that my if gathering can mm-hmm. grow, but I think that other people could start their wow. own if gatherings. Yes. Um, and um, yeah, so I, I just pr- prayer for our, my specific, but, but, but more ser- serving and um, allowing other women mm-hmm. to start their own if gathering. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had a lot of crazy ideas of things that we would like to do to, to, get the message out about if gathering okay. so other people could start um, and just things to help our own if gathering. I mean, for instance, last year, um, one of the ladies had an absolute crazy idea of walking a marathon okay. together in, because there's a group of Christian people that do that apparently. And so thankfully we came to our senses on that <laughs> and didn't, that did not happen. <laughs> However, our latest, um, our latest thought is, you know, could we have a, a, a women's, 
retreat Mm -hmm. or just a women's day, not necessarily at Celebrate Church, but within the community that we could bring a guest speaker in. Mm -hmm. Um, And I I don't know that that's just our kind of our latest because we also desperately want other women to have the kinds of relationships that we have. And we just we would love to share that Mm -hmm. and and encourage that uh, with other women yeah. In our communities. So, I mean, we've even got, um, they, they aren't even all from Celebrate. We've got wow. one one lady who goes to the Catholic Church mm-hmm. that's that's part of our IF gathering. And it has been such a blessing to have her be part of our conversations and ask questions and talk about and, um, and yeah, just build amazing relationship and friendships with everybody. Yes. So it's, it's a cool opportunity. That is awesome. Yeah. And if gathering is actually an internationally yes. known ministry. Yes. Yes. That's awesome. Yep. So. And Knoxville has one here. Yeah. Yeah. At least one, as <laughs> right. far as we know. Right. Who knows? There could be so many we don't even realize. <laughs> right. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you both so much. I just love that we get to start this whole podcast with the two of you. <laughs> I was sharing with Mike and Jackie that they... Um, were the first people I heard about specifically with Go Ministries and their heart, their passion to let people know about ministry here within Knoxville. And I don't say celebrate because it was within Knoxville. And yes. so I'm just excited for people to hear the heart behind that. And I'm excited for people to hear specifically the invitations the Lord has given you and that you were obedient even mm-hmm. it, not even in it. You were obedient in it, but you trusted that. Hey, yes. Lord, I'm going to trust this invitation, no matter how big or how small. Mm-hmm. So thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much for listening today for our very first Let's Go podcast. We can't wait for you to hear more. If you have been doing things within our community, we would love to hear from you. And within our show notes, you will see if gathering links, you will see links f- specifically to let us know if you want to be a part of the shop, uh, men's ministry, all the good things that the Moats family has been involved in. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great one. Thank you for listening to the Celebrators podcast. We hope you're inspired to find ways to go into your own community and share God's love. Thanks for listening and let's go.